Hey everyone, Matt Basarsik from RazorEmporium.com here today to do a little beard cleanup using the new King C Gillette line of shaving products. We are gonna use some of the lineup gel and razor and blades. So let's get started. Okay guys, well, it's been a journey. I, you haven't probably seen me for a bit because I have been trying to let my facial hair grow out a little bit. Um, I will not say what razor <laughs> did me wrong, but I think you all know because it was a recent shave review video. I just could not get over the amount of ingrown hairs that I had on my, on my even my cheeks, my neck. I never get ingrown hairs on my cheek and um, I just had to do nature's recipe, at least I, I, I hope we'll find out, the proof is gonna be in the pudding. Um, but I had to let some of my hair just grow out for, this is about 15 days worth of growth. Um, so we are gonna do a little cleanup now. Uh, so hopefully we can show you using some of this new King C. Gillette transparent shave gel. So again, this is not a full face shave, we'll do another video with that but this is gonna be just a clean up, line up kind of a thing. So um, I have wet my face slightly. I may even use a corner and kind of just really prep. Since I'm not gonna have a brush, I'm gonna kind of use this washcloth like a brush and just use this as an opportunity to scrub and lift. And I've been even doing this in the shower, another kind of tip if you if you have ingrown hairs you're trying to get rid of ingrown hairs i've been doing it every night in the shower take a washcloth take your face soap product which you should be using if you're not using a face soap get a face soap guys and just scrub um in the shower and you can uh, you know eventually dig out those ingrown hairs let's see if this comes right out it does and yes it is transparent looks like clear silicone <laughs> i'm not used to a goop but we're gonna give us a shot. Why not? It smells really nice. It's a very clean, masculine smell. Um, it smells a little bit like deodorant, synthetic kind of. It doesn't smell, I mean, it smells kind of artisan-y, but it's obviously made in a, a, in a giant factory. Um, it's lathering up kind of here, kind of foaming up a little bit. So again, I'm just gonna try to do a little bit of cleanup on my, on my neck to turn this 15 days of scruff into what looks like kind of a weekend beard. I'd say weekend beard because a lot of guys do that on the weekends. They won't shave and then they'll kind of just trim their neck and it kind of looks like a beard, but they haven't you know, fully grown it in and everything looks nice and even. And on top of that, I already had existing sideburns and existing goatee mustache, as you guys know. So it's different hair lengths. Um, all right, so that is the transparent shave gel. We'll see how it, it works here. I've got the King C. Gillette razor. This is a, I believe this is a Mula made in Germany head. And then I think it's a made in China handle. I think it even says that right on the package. Let me pull it off this handy dandy. Please read manual and remove paper before use. Let's see here. So it says it's a high quality chrome plated handle with single platinum coated double edge blade. Um, closed comb design allows better control. Okay, yeah, handle made in China, blades made in Russia. Um, I think we've already kind of established that they were using Mula in Germany to make the head because it looks like a mula head. So we got a little cool pack here. I really do like the packaging. Uh, I think they did a nice job bringing the diamond and arrow logo back. It's kind of a, obviously reminiscent of the first, oh, first 20, 30 years of, of Gillette uh, had the diamond and arrow logo. And then it looks like they were using the platinum blades. I'm guessing these are just gonna be Gillette Platinums made in Russia. It is pretty cool. Again, I'm not sure, I'll try to hold this for a close-up if you can see. 
It even has the King C. Gillette signature laser engraved on it. So that's pretty cool. So it's not just a, a rebrand, or a, um, it's not just a Platinum Plus blade they threw in, or a Platinum Gillette Platinum blade. It's, it looks like they at least did a, a run of custom laser engraving to help brand it. And it's even got the KCG King C. Gillette on the top cap. It's been laser etched. So we're loaded up. Again, I'm going to try to mow through all this hair with a double-edged razor. The best tool, I won't lie, was going to be probably a straight razor or a shavette. Wow. If you're looking for a mild razor, this is it. <laughs> it's incredibly mild. Of course, I don't think it's helping matters that I have really long hair and I'm using kind of a sticky, transparent goop, but um, we're going with it today. It is getting through it. It's taking its sweet time. So again, we're doing this, we're using this product against my will, <laughs> against my better judgment, because it does brand itself as a, as a styling gel. Right there, guys, it's not just me. Shave gel designed for styling with white tea. Um, I would imagine that for styling your facial hair, it means stuff like this, trying to take you know, rough stubble or, or even decently long 15-day stubble and turn it into something. It is definitely taking a while to get through all this, and I, I, I am partially to blame for that because I have some wicked crazy hair. People always ask me, how did I get into double-edged razors? And I say, this. <laughs> I was born with very thick, unruly, coarse hair and very sensitive, tender, tender hair, or tender skin. And that combination just is dreadful. Don't wish it on anybody. You do have that dreadnought shavette here, or that holy black shavette. I'll take it. Is that the one I've plinked on and all sorts of fun stuff? I am going to just make sure that I am giving it the benefit of the doubt. I am going to completely saturate <laughs> my entire face with this because I, so far, am not very impressed with the level of comfort it's giving. That's one thing you guys, I think, can appreciate about our channel. I, I keep it real. <laughs> what I mean by that is that you're seeing it First hand, this is just like it'd be if you were in your bathroom with the new product and you're like, what's going on? I'm trying to make it work, guys. It looks like I went to the barber and the barber shop won. <laughs> so I, I actually, I really wanted to like this stuff and maybe it's just the amount of hair I have. I, maybe if you have one or two or three days of stubble, you can style. <laughs> I don't know how you style stubble. I have been out there, I've worked in their archival department and I, I really do like the, 
what they're trying to do here. I like that they're trying to bring back the Gillette name and the Diamond and Arrow logo and the styling, the colors, the scent was even pretty nice. But the quality of this product is abysmal. It's probably the absolute worst shave gel or shave product I've ever put on my face. Um, it's not doing anything. It's not prepping my beard for anything. If I was supposed to, I mean, let me just make sure I wasn't supposed to use a brush with it. No, it shows right there. It shows using your fingers to apply it, apply a thin layer to areas to be shaved and edged. I'm trying to edge and shave and apply and it's, it's just, I think I would rather take a melt and pour. I, I think I'd rather have a puck of Williams soap from the grocery store for 99 cents. I've used Williams before and Williams actually is, is decent. You can make a decent lather with Williams with a brush. Um, there goes my 15 days of trying to grow out my hair to avoid ingrown hairs. I think I mowed over the same area 50 times trying to get anything to happen here. Um, I was hoping to say, yeah, look guys, you know, we're making an impact on the shaving world. It's at the grocery store again. I think this is actually at Walgreens now. It, it's, it's, reminds me, okay, I, again, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say it how it is because I'm not paid to do this. In fact, I bought all this stuff myself with my own money. This reminds me of trying to take a deodorant and rub deodorant on my face and like a gel deodorant and then shave with that because it's almost the same effect. It, it's, I am going to call it there before I do any more damage. The blades were nice. I could feel the blade was, I mean, I love Gillette Platinum blades um, and the silver blues. And um, so at least I had that going for me. I'm going to douse my face now in Paraso aftershave balm to try to calm anything down here. It looks, it's not even close. I still have stubble. Um, this reminds me of a Gillette adjustable, like on setting number one or setting number two. It's, it's more mild than, than your typical Edwin Jagger D89. If this is a Moolah head, it must be a modified Moolah head to be even more mild. And maybe that's what they're going for, guys. Maybe they have people who are at the grocery store looking at this or Walgreens and they're saying, oh man, a double-edged razor, it looks so scary. So they, maybe they made it really mild on purpose, but for someone who knows what they're doing and or has 15 days of growth, combined with a product that doesn't really lather and doesn't really do anything. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just gonna end it there because I don't want to disparage these guys anymore. I commend them for beautiful packaging. I commend them for putting a double-edged razor back into a pharmacy. I commend them for making beautiful private label branded, whatever you want to call it, uh, blades. The smell was really nice, but the performance was not great at all. Um, if you've used this line of products, please tell me that I'm not a masochist and I didn't <laughs> bring this upon myself. Please tell me that please I'm not tell a me masochist that I'm not and I didn't a masochist bring this upon myself. <laughs>
So I see him rubbing it in with his hands and then shaving and that's it. So that's what we're gonna do guys. So I'm rubbing it in. I mean, it kind of foams up a little bit as you're seeing. I'm even gonna pretend like this is my brush and I'm pushing it against the grain, really trying to work it in. So, and I, I also want to really make sure that I differentiate whether it's the product that's a problem or the mild razor. Maybe it's just a, it's a bad combination. Maybe a super mild razor with a uh, product that just couldn't really provide a lot of, of, of glide. We'll find out. So let's see here. I got the, you got the razor again. I am going to load it with the blade that I, I started using last time that only had the one shave on it. Load that bad boy up the way King C. Gillette used to show in the ads, in the palm of my hand. Grab the head for the last little tighten down. All right, let's try it. That is much more efficient. I still have one ingrown hair over here, which really annoys me. I definitely think that the length of hair was a major contributing factor. So I think that, I think it's really looking as though the length of stubble I had was just too much. Because now, it can take off three days of stubble. And it feels fine. I mean, I, I would, it feels very much like canned goo or canned gel. I would not at all put this in the same category as an artisan shave soap or even a um, traditional shave soap that you make with a brush. I, I can definitely tell the difference, but it's, it's not bad. It is a massive improvement. It's not providing the cush, and you're seeing that my neck's getting a little bit red. But I'm glad I've given this the part two. Because guys, sometimes I, I, I really do want to be honest with you, but I also want to be honest to the product. And I'm not here to disparage and just try to say something. I want to try to have a good balance of, of opinion and a good, um, <laughs> the old college try. Give it another try and give it a try with different conditions here. So I would probably call it at that if I was going to shape this into a beard. Again, it's really hard to see because I don't have massive growth, but you know, I wanted to shave my lower neck and it did that. Uh, it does feel a little bit slicker than it did the other day. I don't know if that's just, again, my, maybe my hair was just absorbing everything and it really couldn't contact the skin so much, but it was better. You can kind of see a little bit of a shadow outline of a weekend beard. Hey, I'm that guy. <laughs> so I would say that um, the product did better with a lot less stubble. To call it for styling, you know, it says right there, designed for styling, and it even shows a guy in the pictures with a beard, I think is just a little bit confusing. And especially sold with a mild razor like this, I don't know if this combination is, is probably the best combination to, to use for styling a beard um, for the first time. Maybe if you were maintaining an already existing beard, this would be great. But if you really gotta carve out that beard from, from scruff, I probably wouldn't recommend this. If you're just gonna maintain it on a daily basis or maintain clean lines, um, this would probably be a fine product for that. So I'm happy that we kind of cleared the air with that. And I, uh, I know that last time I got pretty frustrated. I think I was more frustrated than anything that I had grown all this hair out and then I had this as my first experience back. So that being said, we're gonna move on to the rest of the shave. 
and we're gonna just be auditioning now the razor. So, I need my big vaudeville cane hook over here. We're gonna bring over reinforcements from Italy. Tried and true Parasso shave products that I've used a million times. So again, kind of my constant. We're now no longer auditioning the styling gel. We're auditioning just the King C Gillette razor. Because again, I really did like the aesthetics of the razor. I like the packaging. I know that it's made by Mula, um, the head at least. I think the handle's made, it says right on the package made in China. Um, it's, it's, it's a nice hefty razor. So now we're gonna put on some pre-post. God, that feels so good. <laughs> My skin's like, yes, thank you. This is what we like. Okay, and usually you guys see this all cut down in a video, but we'll do it real quick. Quick and dirty. Brush wet. You know, when I have a cream, oh, I'll just probably go like this and put some product on my face, put it on my brush, and away we go. Need too much water there. There we go. Anytime I have new people when they say, I can't make a lather, I always say get a cream first because it's pretty hard to not make a lather with a cream. That's it. I think you can make a lather in less than 30 seconds if you know what you're doing. These guys that take five minutes, I, I just, I don't understand it. I think you gotta practice maybe more. Use more water, use more agitation, and don't use a, a, a bowl, but do it right on your face. If you're having problems, like, you gotta work through it. Just do it on your face. Okay, still have the same blade. Here we go, rest of the shave. Yeah. It is more mild than a DE89, or an Edwin, you know, or a Mercur 34. So it reminds me of the old Gillette blue tip razor or like an adjustable Gillette from yonder on settings three, two, one kind of area. And now my weekend beard is so quick to disappear. Very easy. It's a nice razor. I, I would probably say if, if you're a beginner at the grocery store, this is not a bad idea. Uh, I think my big hang up was that it was paired with a beard product. But it's very easy to get a decent shave with this. Especially paired with a, paired with a sharper blade like the Platinum. It's actually a good combo. Feels like a, a sports car. I can just whip it around my face really fast. See, we talk about styling gel and clear styling gel. This is what I do to make a nice line. I just do this. I smear it in the direction I want to go because my hair grows sideways on my, on my chin here. And just bring the razor down. You see barbers do that too. I always got confused. You go to the barber shop and they trim your sideburns or the back of your neck. You'll see they'll put the, the cream on and then they'll wipe it off. <laughs> the handle weight's nice, you know, it's balanced, I would say right around there-ish. You know, maybe an inch below the head was nice, right where the neural is. Um, you know, it, it's a little bit slippery down here, but I don't think you should be holding a razor down here. You should be holding it right where the neural is. So that's kind of a handy little thing they did. They put the neural where you should be holding it. Yes, I'm going back over the same area. And I'm hearing stubble being cut. So, what would I, how would we conclude this video? What would I say about this, guys? 
I think if you are at the pharmacy and you see the you know fusion or a cartridge razor or shick or whatever and you're looking at that and then you're looking at this and you're saying man should i buy another round of cartridges or should i take the plunge take the plunge this is this is a good razor especially if you're getting started i think i'm a little more simmered down today <laughs> a couple days ago i was really fired up but um i think this is a great razor for getting started it's very easy to use it's very forgiving it's very mild even with a sharp blade, it's a good combo. I did a one pass shave and it feels nice. Yeah, it's a little more mild than an Edwin Jagger, but maybe for newbies, that's a, that's a good thing. I don't, think, I don't think a new double edge razor user wants to be scared away from it by a really super aggressive slant or you know, some crazy open comb razor. So it did a great job of, of having a, a mild shave. Is it the closest shave ever? No, but I think it's very good. And paired with the quality product, like this Parasso shaving cream, it performed really, really nice. Um, I don't think that there's a King C. Gillette sh like full-on shave product. This is more of a beard thing. It did decent at it. I'm not going to give it high marks. I'd give it a C, maybe a C plus. I give the razor a B plus or an A minus. I think it's for what it's trying to do, it's doing it. For what this is trying to do, it's, it's missing the mark in my opinion. It's better with less double, but it's still not fantastic. Again, once I went over it with actual brush, you know, soap and um, my, my beard was actually prepped, I heard more stubble coming off. So I don't, I don't, think, it, I don't think it gets high marks, but it's not horrible. It's just maybe not the best product for what it's trying to do. Um, I am happy that it's at the pharmacy. I'm happy that people are getting exposed to it. You know, I always say that um, Art of Shaving or Gillette or um, Harry's or any other, uh, any of these other brands that are trying to do something and bring the consumer into this wet shaving world and away from cartridges, I give them thumbs up because they're, they're at least making an effort. They're just exposing people. And as you guys know out there, once somebody takes that red pill and they start going down the path of double edge and wet shaving, they're going to find a lot of other things and they're going to get into it. Um, so I'm going to give, I'm going to give them good marks on this. Okay. Marks on this, not, not my favorite, but, um, I'm glad I did this part too. I hope you guys did as well. Let me know what you think. Have you used any of this stuff before? Am I off my mark? Am I being crazy about any of this? Am I you know, missing something? Tell me in the comments. And if you do leave a comment, you're entered into win this our official Razor Emporium Black and Blue t-shirt. Thank you so much for watching. Share this video with all of your friends out there considering switching to Double Edge. And uh, like our channel, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time at Razor Emporium for all things vintage shaving. Thanks, guys.